for my final thoughts. Now this week being the birthday of our country, I thought I could devote this space to how we can make the grand ideals of our forefathers a reality. Today on July 4th, I would like to focus on something even more American than hot dogs and fireworks. And I'm talking about protests. Yes, protests. Protests have been in the news a ton recently, everything from organized marches to boycotts to kneeling. And a lot of the coverage has been negative, but protesting is quite possibly the most American thing you can do. The Boston Tea Party was a protest, and without it, we might not be celebrating the independence that we embrace so dearly. Peaceful protests have made this country stronger from its inception. The labor movement, the suffrage movement, the abolitionist movement, the civil rights movement, they've all made America a better place. Protests by definition are expressions of dissatisfaction with the status quo, so no protest is going to be universally lauded or approved. That's kind of the point. But no matter how you feel about a particular issue, know that brave men and women sacrificed their lives so that we'd have the right to exercise our freedom of speech and freedom to peacefully assemble. History tends to remember those who stood for something and took action as opposed to those who sat quietly by. Wanting to make America a better place and achieve the promises of its inception is a show of love, just as you challenge your children to be the best that they can be. So this Independence Day, take a moment to pay tribute to those who went against the grain for the greater good and helped improve everyday life for all Americans. We're going to continue this conversation on Facebook. I'm on Facebook Live now. Have a happy fourth. Don't get stuck in the metro. Get up, peace.